Your phone's ringing. Yeah, I know. I can feel it vibrating. Hold on, phone. Hello? Who? It's Madison. Hey, how are you? Good. Um, do you think I could come over? Uh, well, I have a lot of homework to do, so I don't know if now's a good time. Please, just for a little bit. I guess that'll be okay. I'll see you in a few minutes. Bye. I thought you said you had homework to do. I do, but it can wait. My friend Madison's coming over. Your friend Madison? Uh, yeah. What's the problem? The problem is that... Are you talking about Madison from our next, who just moved in next door? Yeah. Why? You better watch your back. She's, she could be really mean. She seemed fine to me. She's in my history class. But that's only at school. Well, she's in my lunch too, and I sit at her table with all her cool friends. She's so cool. Yeah, but I'm in class with her little sister, and a younger sister told, told me that Madison's a troublemaker. Oh, come on, everybody hates the little big sister. Well, you're my big sister and I don't hate you. I got lucky. Joss, I'm serious. I don't think it's a good idea. Ding dong. She's here. Look, you'll like her, okay? Okay. Yes, I would love to meet your mom. Yeah, she's a really cool mom. For a mom. And I'm sure you and her would get along great. But I know your daughter. Which one? The older one. Her name's Joss. Yes, I know my daughter's name. I kind of named her. Sorry. I guess I'm a little nervous about being in a strange house. Well, don't worry. There's nothing strange about this house. <laughs> hey, Madison. Hey, Josh. Madison. Josh, your friend is very nice. You made good judgment with, the, with this one. Thanks. Uh, come on, Madison. Let's go hang out in my room. And I'll introduce you to my younger sister. Okay. Well, I guess my vibe's here. No, right, it was nice talking with you. And tell your mother, feel free to give me a call. I will. Okay. These old sax fit channel videos are awesome, aren't they? Yeah, they're pretty cool. Hey, Josh, I was wondering... Oh, your friend's here. Madison, this is my younger sister, Mindy. Hi, Mindy. Hi. Hey, Mindy, do you mind if me and your sister have some privacy? Why are you going to be talking like this? Mindy. Hey, if you leave us alone, I'll give you a tic-tac. Keep your tic-tac. I don't want a tic-tac. I'll leave. No problem. Josh, who's your friend? Ugh. Okay, now that she's gone, it's time to get down to business. What are you talking about? Get off the laptop. Okay. What's up? You know, I tried to watch the SIK channels, but they're so immature. Who's immature? You're immature for watching them. I usually watch, like, videos on how to put makeup, how to do hair. I mean, you watching the sax channels, you might as well be watching American Girl Doll videos. My sister watches those. Does that make her immature? I don't know. I stopped watching American Girl videos when I was nine. How old's your sister? She's ten. And she still watches them? Oh my gosh, what a baby. My sister's not a baby. And y'all watching the sax channels? I stopped watching those when I was 10. Oh my gosh, I can't believe you still watch the sax channels. What's it to you? I like it, okay? Yeah, whatever. I can't believe I'm friends with you. And your room? I mean, come on. It looks like a room for a four-year-old. Well, I share it with my sister, so if you're insulting my room and insulting me, you're also insulting her. And you're insulting my mother for decorating it. 
So it sounds like your mother needs decorating needing tips. She works in decorating for your information and she's a social worker. Or well, maybe she should quit the decorating business and be a full time social worker. Did you just come here to insult me and my family? Well, I wouldn't have to if you lived in a cooler house. I mean, you don't even have an upstairs. You have one bathroom, so if everybody had to go, they had to wait. You have a kitchen that's, like, so tiny. I mean, my house is so much nicer than yours. If you like your house so much, why don't you go there instead of being in here? Because obviously you're not enjoying yourself. Aw, did I upset you? You're just really immature. You're the one that's being immature by insulting us like this? Hey, I guess the truth hurts, doesn't it? I'm leaving. I'm too good for you guys anyway. Fine, leave. Don't come back. Joss, are you okay? I guess so. I just feel like an idiot. You were right about Madison. Yeah, sometimes I could be right about some things, even though I'm younger than you. And less mature. Ugh, don't even mention the word mature. I'm so upset. You were right about Madison all along. Well, you're going to have to trust me a little more. I may be younger than you, but it doesn't mean I don't know what a good friend is. I know, and I'm sorry. I didn't believe you. But isn't it punishment enough that I had to find out myself and get insulted and be hurt very badly. No, nobody deserves that. And Madison didn't quit it when she was leaving too. She she told mom, well, why don't you become a social worker? My mom wouldn't like you. <sighs> yeah, that sounds like something she would say. I guess I owe you a big apology. Save it. You're hurting enough as it is. And I'm not going to say I told you so. Thank you. But I told you so. Ugh. I'm just joking. Look, I'm really sorry I had a horrible time. Yeah, well, I better get on my homework now. I've been moping for way too long. Would you like me to leave the room so you could uh, have privacy? If you don't mind. I don't mind. I don't have any homework anyway, so I'll just go on the study and, um, go on the computer there. Okay. Mindy? Yeah? Thanks for being there for me today. You're my sister. It's what family does for each other. Come in. Hey, Madison, what are you doing here? Yeah, what are you doing here? I came to say I'm sorry. I don't want to hear any of it. What? I came to say I'm sorry. Mindy, can you leave the room? No, I'm staying. She insulted me and mom, too. I already apologized to your mom. That's... And she told me to come in here and apologize to you. Oh, so you're not really sorry. No, I was sorry before I even came over here. I shouldn't have treated you guys the way I did. No, you shouldn't have. I was thinking that we weren't mature enough for you. And I'm sure Mindy felt the same way. Yeah, I did. You really hurt our feelings. I know. The truth is, is that I only said all those things because of these girls that I met. I mean, I liked a lot of the same stuff that you guys like. But then these girls at school said that it was too mature, and I guess it kind of brainwashed me or something. The truth is, I don't want to hang with those girls anymore. I want to hang with you. What's the catch? There is no catch. 
You know, I can't believe I ever defended you. I know. I don't deserve to be defended for it, but if you give me a chance, do you think we could start over and be friends? Well, I'm willing to give you another chance. Mindy, are you? I guess so. But if you do this to us again, I'll hit you where the sun don't shine. Okay, that's enough, Mindy. Girls, it's bedtime. Okay. Well, I gotta go, too. Anyway, um, so I'll see you in school tomorrow. I'll be there. Bye. I can't believe you went all soft on her. But she really seemed like she was sorry. And if she does this stuff, this garbage tomorrow, then I'll really stop being her friend. Okay, but I still think you're going soft on her. When you're my age, you'll, be, you'll get more sensitive, okay? Whatever. Do you mind if I hop in the shower first? No, go ahead.